Meanwhile, on the other side of town, Tariq makes his way over to see Davis, tells him he wants back in, hopes Davis might know a cat or two, you know, because he a criminal lawyer, might know some criminals. Davis got somebody in mind that Tariq might like to meet if he so happened to be wanting to get back in the game. Tells Tariq this cat different, though. Davis tells him he taken 20% and Tariq firstborn for the matchmaking fee. Then he takes Braden and Tariq to go meet this fella. You know, a wild cat named Zion. Now Zion operate out of a fight club type joint that he owned. Tariq and Braden come in with the money hoping to get some product. Now they got enough for about 12 bricks. But Zion lets him know this ain't a goddamn open bar. <laughs> lets him know it's a 15 brick minimum up in his establishment. Knocks over Tariq little money and all of that. Questions whether Tariq is like his pops. Because that's one of the only reasons they even up in here right now. You know. Because business is booming. His plate is full of cats. He fully staffed up. Start messing with Tariq. Said Tariq went and got him a Tommy. Like his pops did and all of that. Turn out Zion a little handsy. Put his mitts on Tariq and, and all of that. Wrinkled up his little jacket. You know, grabbed him up a little bit. Not really feeling Tariq or his business acumen at this point. He does leave Tariq and Braden a few samples, though, in case something open up. You know, when they get their act together. Or in case they want to be customers for real. <laughs> he peace up out of there. Davis tells Tariq it could have been worse and that they need to find a way to convince Zion to give them some product, whatever it takes. They piece up out of there, get back to the dorm. Tariq and Brayden trying to figure out how to get in with Zion. Tariq like, I got it. Here's the play. <laughs> we take out Zion men. Leave a void. Then we in. Now, Braden ain't really feeling that at all. You know, he on that I like having teeth thing again, you know. Tariq like teeth. We need to get in right now, teeth or no teeth. Just then, Braden get a text from Becca. Like, come to my room now. But FYI, I'm not being kidnapped. You know, you know, Becca ain't letting that sh die easy. Braden go to see Becca. She high as sh Throwing around old drawers. Tearing her damn room up in an effort to pack up her sh She been told she got to find a new spot to live. Since the Western name is mud right about now. And the room she's staying in is for good paying folks. You know, with no smut on a rep. She asked Braden for a little cash. You know, because she spent her last on an eight ball. He can't help. Then he peace up out of there. Meanwhile, his other half, Tariq, on his diabolical. <laughs> you know, he done consulted his Ouija board. Looked over at his life chess piece set up. And got on some chess sh Decides to give a few of the samples he got from Zion. To Effie after class one day. You know, put stuff in motion. He like, what's good, little boo? You doing some new marketing or something? She like, the fuck you talking about? He like, I found these, these packets laying around campus. I ain't know you had a new brand and all. I figured it had to be you because ain't nobody crazy enough to step on y'all territory. She like, hell no, nah, that ain't my work. He like, well, if they ain't yours, this is being sold 
on Stansfield campus. Watch your back. You might have some competition.